A crucial 20-minute qualifying session to determine grid positions for the last race of the penultimate round at Sandown. Garth Tander escaped unscathed after a big crash, but the tireless efforts of the crew had his HRT back in pristine condition on the track. But it was the other Holden drivers dominating the timesheets early. Saturday's runner-up and defending champion Jamie Winkup, followed by Lee Holdsworth. And Lee Holdsworth goes to the top of the 11.03, then Winkup 11.03. Craig Lowndes' struggles continued. He wasn't the only one. And this is the reason that they bend shock absorbers. Look at the force and the displacement of that right-hand front wheel up into the guard at turn two. That's Andrew Jones and the BOC Commodore. The pressure was on championship leader James Courtney after Wing Cup cut his lead to 32 points. And have a look at the end of the back straight. The commitment here from James Courtney. The car just sliding. That's one and a half tonne sliding at 200 and 40 odd kilometres an hour as he turns it in there. But the dark horse was Bottolo Racing's Paul Dumbrell who clocked his first race win on Saturday. Dumbrell, he goes to the top. A 110.79 for our race winner yesterday. But Wing Cut was vying for his 11th pole in 2010. Then it was Ford's turn. Mark Winterbottom making a last ditch bid. Winterbottom now punches out a 10.53. Very good time here for Frosty. But after his first win in 11 years, Dumbrell was keen to secure his first pole. Into the second last turn, if he gets a good straight exit here, this could punch Dumbrell to the top. Is this the one that delivers him his first ever career pole position? Well right done. now it does, but Wincup is charging. Lowndes may have been out of the picture, but with less than a minute to go, this one was going down to the wire. 15 hundredths of a second separate the top five cars. Dumbrell holding on for his maiden pole ahead of Frosty and an all-FPR front row. Daniela Rintilli, Big Pond Sport.